Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPT Beyond Bread in My Hands is Project Patron, the trade paperback that collects the five issue series. This one was a, was a pretty interesting one. Uh, it's written by Steve Orlando. Patrick Piazalunga is the artist. Carlos Lopez is the colorist. Hassan Atzman Elowu and Thomas Maurer are the letterers. All right, so the concept is, is like the world's greatest superhero actually winds up dying. Uh, so think of like death of Superman, but he actually stays dead. So, you know, what's the world gonna do? Like, what would you do if you're the world's government? Well, what you do is Project Patron. Uh, they go and they create kind of like a robotic version of the superhero piloted by a secretive group of people. Only a few know that this project exists. Uh, and then the world doesn't know that the superhero is dead. They go on, you know, thinking everything's completely normal. Uh, a new member of the team winds up uh, joining and is a spy for the UN to let them know how the team's holding up. Um, this is an interesting series with a lot of like ups and downs, twists and turns, and where it goes eventually comes together. This is, this is a comic series that I think comes together really, really well at the end. At first, it feels kind of like a, a spin on the superhero genre, but when you get towards the end, it's really much more of a statement about like institutions and um, shining a light on on the truth and um, and just you know the general uh, the truthiness. I believe is someone says a uh, famous person uses a lot. It's a, it's a really interesting thing about uh, you know government transparency. I think is a great way of, of really looking at it. Um, and then also where the series potentially could go get, could get really fascinating. Uh, you know, I, I, it's one where when I first read, when I was first reading it, it really just felt like a really interesting take on the superhero genre. And you get to that end and it, it really is kind of a very, it puts the, the issues in perspective. The fifth issue, I think, puts the first four really in perspective, a different perspective. Uh, and that's not a bad thing. I think that's actually really, really interesting. Um... And I, I'm doing my best to not ruin it as to like where it winds up, but I, I think it's it's a fascinating series that really is a dig at transparency and leadership uh, than anything else. Uh, it's it's I think a, a fascinating fascinating series that you can really spark a lot of debate, especially you know as a whole. I think when you get do those individual issues, it's a different read than just reading it straight through, um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing at all. Uh, there, the art I think is is good. Like this is a, a style that I, that I dug. I liked. Um, you know, there's it was kind of like a slightly traditional superhero style at times. Uh, I would say I wouldn't quite say like an image style for superheroes, but you know, it's it's kind of similar to that. It um, and, and I, I like hopefully you know what I mean. Like it, it feels like a very an image book. Um, I don't know why that is, but it just, you know, various publishers have their kind of styles you see a lot. For some reason, this one feels like it would really stick at image. Um, and not, it like, as opposed to, like, maybe DC or, or, or Marvel being, like, superhero stuff. Uh, there's some extras, there's some covers, there's, uh, there's some sketches. You know, a little bit extra things to, to throw in there, which is kind of cool. Um, some other fun extras that, you know, you'll have to buy and uh, check out. But overall, like, I think this is, is a cool spin on the superhero genre, the tights and capes genre. Uh, definitely brings something new. It definitely brings a really interesting perspective. And it leaves things in a place I really want to see where it all goes from here. Because um, there's some uh, a lot of potential as to how, how the comic ends. Um, so I, I recommend this one. Like, if you're a fan of superheroes... Uh, it's worth checking out. You know, it's it's not quite the deconstruction like it might come off in the beginning. Um, so you can go get this. this is in comic shops uh, now. We got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to help the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own copy. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that to support our site. So thank you. And I want to thank Aftershock for opening us up with the review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching as well. If you're into comics, if you're into graphic novels, trades, Aftershock, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.